Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for joining me here on Exploit Security. I'm your host CyberMonkey and this YouTube channel is all about documenting my journey to earning the OSCP. So for the last couple weeks we've been going over the Defend the Web series and today we're going to be going over the level library gateway with Defend the Web. Uh, this is the first step into a more or slightly more realistic level um, from the last ones we've been doing for the last couple weeks. Um, so it was a little bit more fun to do. I enjoyed it. It was it was relatively easy um, And I'm going to show you how I went about solving it. Hopefully it benefits you Let me know in the comments section below and let's go ahead and jump into it So you can see right off the bat. It gives a, a short little description um, of the scenario one of my ch school chums has got in a spot of bother with their school library they borrowed a book a long time back and is getting frequent letters asking for the money that he owes for the overdue book he is a bit on the poor side and doesn't have the money to pay the library. Here's the link to the librarian site. Please help. All right, so awesome. Um, we get this cool little scenario to dive into. And as you can see here, we have a little radio that um, is listed as library gateway. So let's go ahead and right click on that. Open a link in new tab. And then let's jump over that new tab. You are not currently logged in. Please click the link below. So I'm going to right click that again. I want to keep each tab open so I can go through each one individually. All right, so here you go. Um, this is the next part. Um, so same thing as usual. Let's just enter in test test and see what happens. Incorrect username, password. All right, so we now have three tabs open where we can start kind of combing through to see if we can find any links to the next clue. Um, so let's start, let's go on and start with the actual just login page itself. Uh, so we're going to right click view page source. And I'm not really, I'm not really seeing anything here. Um, I mean, it, it's a relatively short page. Uh, you can see the whole thing without having to scroll down and I'm not catching anything on just a first glance so I'm gonna go ahead and just close this out and if I have to go back to through it and comb through it again I certainly will but I just want to get a general idea of what I'm working with so we have the next page it says you are currently not logged in please click the link to log in I think that's a really odd feature to have I don't really understand why I want to just jump to the login page um, so that really stands out to me so let's Let's inspect the page source on this one as well. And then you are currently not logged in. Please click the link to continue. Ah, so here we are. This is why I wanted to jump back to it. So I was combing through again, giving it a second look. Um, like I said, usually I do a, a quick comb through of everything and get a general idea of what I'm looking at. And then if I don't find that immediate lead, I just comb a little bit deeper, each level and each level and each level. Um, that's a little bit different from how I do like the, the port scanning and everything like that. Um, I just try to get all the scans out of the way. Um, I just take the approach a little different as I'm going through a web application. It allows me just to kind of get a general idea of what I'm looking at. Once I have an understanding, just a full summary, then I start kind of writing the pages in between. Um, so once I came back here, I caught this. So you can see here that it calls a function with a variable as username and password. Um, and then they list this URL and they list members here plus username plus password plus .htmm. HTM, excuse me, and that just really stands out to me. For starters, you you have another page to take you to the login page, and then kind of combing through here. So let's actually open this up. So we're just going to copy this. We're going to remove that login PHP, and here we go. All right, so now we get another pull up. Um, so as you can see here, it lists Anna, God, Dave, Fish, our friends, Jack, Cack, Librarian, Sweet Little Books, and Luke 9312. And as you remember, when we were looking at that, excuse me, let me see if I can get back there really quick. 
So as you remember, when we were looking at the source code for the actual login.php page itself, you can see this function calls those two variables and then within the URL, it inserts members plus username plus password.html. So based off this alone, I'm going off the assumption that what we're looking at is credentials. Um, so great. So of course, I already actually solved this earlier today. So I already know the, the correct credentials, um, but I recommend you just kind of go through them and see what happens when you go through each of them. It's just a good little lesson to have. Um, and you know, just be curious. That's, that's the just nature of it. You should certainly always try to be, um, you should always try to be as curious as possible about this stuff because that's really how you're going to learn i mean there's just so many different factors and you know different topics to really focus on and learn that it can become a little bit overwhelming so when you're doing things like this just kind of have fun with it but definitely follow up on some of those details and subtle clues and start learning a little bit more um, it's gone a long way for me i've progressed a lot without um, really having to stress about sitting down and reading a book. I can just find something to read up on as I'm going through these levels and I just do some Google searches and read some resources online and it helps me get a little bit more spun up. Uh, so I recommend doing the same. All right, so we went ahead and pasted in the username. Now we have to do the same for the password itself. I'm actually just gonna paste it in there because my typing is horrible at times. So I just wanna make sure I don't make a mistake. There we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and paste in that password. All right, and that is correct. So as you can see, we are able to find the proper credentials, a uh, slightly more realistic scenario. I'm not gonna say 100% realistic, but you know, the security in today's world, you know, you expect it to be a little bit better. Surprisingly, it, it's not always the case. Um, you know, you can't expect everyone to have an amazing red team and blue team or just uh, you know a full 10 man team or 10 person team of security analysts and everything like that you just can't they can't afford it they can't put it in the budget but you are normally in 2020 you're not gonna find as many vulnerabilities like this so don't expect that in a more realistic scenario it's gonna pop up um, it is going to be a little bit more challenging, but it starts getting you in that mindset, the problem solving, the looking for those clues, and that's what makes it a little bit more realistic. So we've been doing Defend the Web for a couple weeks now, and I, I'd like to generally increase or include a little bit more variety um, in everything that I do just so I can be as helpful as possible. Um, and I've been looking at two other CTF sites. So we're probably going to circulate through both of those over the next coming weeks. And of course, we're not going to forget about Defend the Web. We're not going to forget about, you know, Hack the Box. Um, we're not going to forget about any of the challenges that we've been doing. We're just going to kind of circle, you know, circulate through each one, keep everything fresh. Sometimes I get a little bored. Sometimes I hit a challenge that just has me caught up and I just I, I have to get through that challenge in order so I can film those. So, you know, during my off time, I'm working on those challenges. Um, so of course, I'm not always going to be able to keep those series going. There might be another scenario for a reason that I have to change it. So we're going to go ahead and jump into a few others. I've been doing some research into more challenging sites. I'm still trying to keep it a little bit more beginner than build up to intermediate. Um, but we're going to see what we can find. I think I have like two or three listed. So I'll probably start those tonight and go through them. And then I'll probably start the recording for next week. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I'm going to post next, I'm kind of stuck between hack this site just because it, it looks interesting. Uh, it looks like super basic and from the 90s and stuff like that. And I kind of like that vibe. So we might jump over there. Um, I was looking at Root Me. Root Me has a plethora of different types of challenges, realistic ones, script based um, that we can kind of go through. And there is a few others. I'm trying to keep them web based right now. Um, eventually we will roll into the vulnerable machines from VulnHub. Uh, similar to hack the box, but that's all you access that through VPN. Um, so we have a lot of different things we can go through and I want to try to keep that variety going just to help as many people as possible. Um, so expect a different series next week. Like I said, we will get back to hack the box. We will get back to defend the web. I just want to try to keep everything fresh and going through. So thank you everyone. Please like, share, and subscribe to catch the next videos next week. And I will catch everyone later. Thanks everyone.